Well, hey guys, it's Daniel from Walker. It's Bruce. Hey, thanks again for joining us. We're going to be doing another transmission oil performance system video known as TOPS. Uh, and what we're gonna be doing this time is walking through the procedure of draining the oil, changing the filter, and refilling the system. Now, if you're not familiar with what the top system is, make sure you click on the link above and watch that video. It's gonna give you everything you need to know about the top system, how to maintain it, what the schedule is, the warranty, etc. cetera. Uh, one quick disclaimer, the process we're showing is a dealer process. This is, this is maintenance that, should, that needs to be done at the dealer because they can log that here with us at Walker, making sure that you're eligible for that extended warranty, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Your dealer will be able to file the paperwork uh, with us mm -hmm. and that makes sure that your coverage is, uh, is full. Right. Uh, Bruce, what are the basic tools we need for this process? Tools required for this project are a quarter inch T-handle, a 9 16 hex, a 17 and 12 millimeter combination wrench along with a 9 16 wrench. Basic stuff, you probably have it on hand, so nothing fancy here. Yep. Um, well, I'm gonna grab the camera and film you, Bruce, as you walk through this, All and right. we'll just take it a step at a time. Sound good? Sounds good, let's get her done. All right. Now this process will go a lot smoother if the engine has been allowed to idle for about 10 or 15 minutes. This will just heat up the oil and the transmission is letting it flow a lot easier. All right, well step one is to remove the mowing deck from the tractor. You know, and it's also important to remember that contaminants are one of the number one hazards to a transmission system. So you need to thoroughly clean around each cap, connector, and plug on the reservoir and even on the transmissions. You know, you want to make sure that this is totally clean. Don't allow contaminants to enter the system during the process. You know, this could lead to premature damage or even premature failure of the transmissions. Now we can move on to the reservoir and drain the oil from there. There's a plug on the bottom. It's near the rear of the reservoir. You just want to loosen that and allow the oil to drain. So next we're going to begin draining the oil out of the transmissions. So at the bottom of the transmission, locate the elbow connector. And by you'll disconnect the line from that elbow connector. This will allow the oil to drain from each of the transmissions. Now as the reservoir is draining, we can move to the filter. Uh, just like a filter on your engine, you're gonna remove this with your filter wrench and making sure to wipe off the surface, mounting surface, making sure that's a nice clean surface to receive the new filter. Once the system's drained, now we can move on to installing the new filter. Again, you wanna lubricate the filter gasket with a drop of fresh oil and then turn the filter clockwise until the rubber gasket just contacts the sealing surface of the pump. Now then you want to turn an additional three quarters turn. It's important not to over tighten here. Just a reminder, this is a special filter for the top system. You want to use only Walker part number 5024-13. This is a custom filter for the top system. It's not the same as an engine oil filter. Now we'll reconnect the lines between the oil pump and the transmissions at the elbow connectors. And you want to use a 12 millimeter wrench here to keep the hose from twisting as you tighten these hoses back into place. The plug for the reservoir tank is a tapered pipe thread, so we recommend using a pipe thread sealant when you reinstall the plug. Then we'll reinstall the reservoir drain plug. Now you want to again thoroughly clean uh, the whole top system now that we've uh, sealed it all back up. You want to make sure that before we open it for putting new oil in, everything's nice and clean. So thoroughly clean around each of the fill plugs on the top of the transmissions. Now we can remove those fill plugs using uh, that small um, quarter inch hex. Now a reminder, we're using the, the specific oil for the top system called Mobile SHC 
630. So this is a Walker part number. This is 6450-20. So that's Walker part number 6450-20. And you're going to want to use a funnel here, but once you get that drain plug off, then use a funnel and fill each of the transmissions with oil till the point where the oil reaches the bottom of the threads. This will be approximately 16 ounces per transmission. Once the transmission's full, there's no more settling there, go ahead and install the fill plug. All right, once each of the transmissions are full, now we're going to move on to the reservoir. So thoroughly clean around the reservoir fill cap and remove that cap. And fill the reservoir again to the bottom of the threads on the fill cap. You know, knowing that the oil is going to settle once we begin cycling the system. So next you want to keep the fill cap of the reservoir off and then go ahead and start the engine. So let the engine run for a few minutes while watching the oil through the fill opening for the air or the foam to dissipate. So you're going to be actually watching this kind of settle and you'll see air kind of coming out. And then add additional oil until you reach the cold fill line on the sight glass on this side of the reservoir. You may need to do this process a time or two to just make sure that the system is fully settled. At this point, you can reinstall the reservoir fill cap and drive the tractor for about five minutes. You want to continue to let it you know, idle, but then by driving it, you're going to let that oil fill and settle a little bit more in the system. Let the engine cool and then check the level once it's cold. You're going to add any additional oil that's necessary to reach that uh, halfway line on the sight glass on the side of the reservoir. And finally, just check and make sure that you don't have any leaks. Make sure all the connections and all the seals are nice and tight and it's all clean, ready for the customer. All right, well, that kind of gives you an idea of what's involved uh, in servicing uh, the top system. Uh, we've run the transmissions for a bit of time, warmed mm -hmm. them up, allowed them to cool back down, looked at the oil level to make sure that it's in the center of the sight glass, and it looks like we're in pretty good shape there. Yeah. Um, going forward, you just want to keep an eye on that sight glass as you run, the, run your uh, tractor, mm -hmm. uh, heating and cooling cycles, a few more. Uh, just make sure that that oil level uh, stays right in the middle of the glass. Right. And don't forget to log your maintenance for the customer in our new warranty system. That way they're sure that they're on that schedule and that they're receiving that unlimited uh, three year unlimited um, warranty on the on the transmissions. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. Well, basic. Uh, thanks so much, Bruce, for walking us through it. And thanks so much for joining us. And we'll see you guys next time. All right. Take care.